Alrighty, hey guys, it is Mitch Games 24 7 here today with another video for you guys, and today what we're going to be talking about is Call of Duty dying. As far as content creation goes, yes. While the series itself is still typically the number one seller year in, year out, the game in recent years has struggled to break records. Its last significant record being from Modern Warfare 3, with profits reaching $1 billion just 16 days after release. But what stopped these numbers from appearing again? The franchise eventually worn off on many vets with them moving to other franchises. This was more so when Call of Duty went next gen with the PS4 and Xbox One. The titles from there were poorly received and have since left a hole to be filled in the franchise. The series' biggest turn was the introduction of supply drops in Advanced Warfare, giving players the ability to have statistically better guns than other players. While the formula has become arguably less pay to win in recent years, there's no denying the success it's had. But why has content creation died so much? Gone are the days where phone recorded nukes on Modern Warfare 2 re receive 1 million views. It is rare now for a Call of Duty video by any given creator to reach 1 million views. The problem is everything has been done. After well over a decade, are people just tired of seeing the same thing? The franchise has seen it all from World War 2 to Vietnam to space. It's all the same, just with a different skin over it. Have we had too much of a good thing? Recently, the Battle Royale shooters such as PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds have begun to take over the market, especially on networks such as Twitch. These games are new, whilst keeping first-person shooter elements that we all know and love. This game is breaking records, having already sold over 10 million copies pre-release, just a pre-release game, which is absolutely insane, as well as that having no market campaign on top of that. That is absolutely insane. Not only that, but it has been the top of stream, uh, Steam charts with 1 million concurrent players being the top game on Steam. That is only Steam. That is one that's one one PC, that's one console. It's it's one platform. That that is just absolutely insane. Keeping in mind the devs are aiming for a late 2017 launch with the Xbox One, with rumors of a PS4 release later down the line for this game. This game has the potential to challenge Call of Duty for its throne. The fact is, Call of Duty is too big to die, but it definitely is bleeding out with recycled content and a lack of replayability. Each COD game is good, but falls short from the glory the franchise once had. If the franchise wishes to assure its dominance, it must aim to reward those players who keep coming back instead of spitting on them with catering for noobs and making gear locked away behind a paywall. This is done through the supply drops and how they implemented. So, on the most popular game, arguably, is Black Ops 3 at the moment, and the weapons, you cannot unlock them through sh challenges. The only way to get them is to either grind the game for a ridiculous amount of hours and just hope that you do get lucky enough to get the gun that you want. And typically, these new guns that are added are just fan favorite guns, which is all well and good, but it is recycled content. It's similar with the Zombies Chronicles map pack that was recently released. Well, that is fantastic. It is eight remastered maps. Now, remasters are all well and good, but do they do they affect the longevity of the game? They, they, they do for a little while, but... They can only go so far as they are just a remaster, as well as the score streaks in the game. The score streaks have really dropped off in recent years, obviously catering for noobs. Gone are the days where you can get your score streaks that are mid-level, get 10 kills with them, get your high streaks and get 20 to 30 kills. It just doesn't happen anymore, which is unfortunate. And it doesn't reward the series vets who obviously put in the hard work to become good at the game and be able to punish the people who are bad at the game. But anyways, guys, that's going to include the video. That's my uh, little spiel about Call of Duty. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe, all that really good stuff coming up on 18,000 subscribers. So if we could get any more closer there, hit 18.9K soon or 17.9K, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, guys, it's been Mitch, and I'll see you guys in another video.